me see one more thing. <laughs> Maybe it won't be the last video. I can't seem to shut up. But anyway. <sighs> I am debating the whole video thing. I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm having a positive effect or not. Um, because there are egoic reasons for making these videos. For sure, and I have I have uprooted several within myself. So, you know, at the end of the day, it leaves me wondering: is it right? Is it right going forward for me or not? Um, but let me just say this. Sorry about I cut my hand yesterday. Again. <laughs> the second video, where I had a stupid ugly bandaid on my hand. Sorry. Um, so just because we create our own reality, j just because, uh, just see, that does not mean that you can imagine an elephant in your room. Now, if you want to believe that that's true, then do it. Just do it. Any of you. Go ahead. I'll wait. No. Or, or, or all of you who who know you, you're, you're extraterrestrial and, and you know about aliens and all that, but you've never seen one, call one. I called one last night and it showed up. Blessed be. Not because I'm special. But just because I have a relationship with them that I've built. Maybe because I've been looking for them. I've been open to the experience. I've called out to them and they started to show up, you know. That's it. But, okay, so it does, what I'm, what I'm, and the reason I'm saying this is because because of all this QAnon stuff and because of all these conspiracy theories out there and because of everyone just repeating crap that they've heard and thinking that's awakening because someone can just talk like someone else on here without ever having had any experiences and to the unawakened, they can't tell the difference. And often it seems like of course, yeah, of course. They go to the other one. They, the more popular ones are almost always the more compromised. Why? I, because that's their vibration. So those in a lower vibration, really, they can't, just like they can't see the ascended masters. Not until my vibration gets high enough in meditation do I start to see angels, or if I'm particularly high on a day, do I see angels just, you know appearing before me or do I see those kind of energies you know at a certain vibration my third eye really starts to open up and I start to see the fourth and the fifth and the higher dimensions as anyone would but you can talk about that without ever having seen it you can repeat someone else's words without ever having seen it and oh yeah the point was that so you know in the lower vibrations you can't see those things well, guess what? It works the same way with gurus, masters, or spiritual advisors. That's why they say you you call the master, right? The master appears when, when, when the student is ready, right? That's because you will not find people that you're not ready for. And, and the masses still are, apparently, are not ready for true, genuine awakening. You know, I, I'm, I, I'm a little, I'm a little disheartened because I, I a lot of the, uh, you know, if you've been following my channel, you re you probably realize that about a year ago, or maybe maybe eight months or something, is when I started to have a real schism with a lot of the other YouTubers on here. And it was about a year year ago, yeah. Uh, because the year prior to that, I was in a I was in a period of expansion where I was suddenly seeing these. You know, I had already been awake for a while. I, I had already been on a spiritual path for a while, but years, but I, I had not seen extraterrestrials or angels and, and certainly not in a recognizable way. Like I knew what they were, like I'd seen things, but the things I had seen had only been on psychedelics. You know, I started to experience things on and off, on and off. It started to become a fairly commonplace thing. You know, I started to communicate with these things. I started to understand these things. I started to comprehend these things. Well, at that same time, this was happening to other people because because of the whole ascension, right? Uh, and we're all talking about it. But what I didn't realize was 
I mean, I knew some amount of people were not having genuine awakenings, of course. I knew some people were just repeating stuff. And I always figured they're just on the road. They're just not really there yet, okay? But I did not realize there, were, there was this huge inorganic element of actual psy psychological operations being done by governments, different governments, uh, varying governments, and political groups, political action groups, uh, all the way to cults, like, and, and, and just, just particular individuals who wanted power, fame, or just wanted to mess some stuff up, or just had an agenda. This is the, this is what the internet has created, and, and, and I, and I've told you over and over again that the mind and the ego is a simulation of the heart and truth and love. And that's all it can ever be, right? And that's what it creates. I told you that the mind creates out of death. As we take a tree, carve it up, turn it into something dead and, and, and box-like, you know? Whereas life creates spontaneously, ever-changing, you know, and continuously. Because truly, there is only life, you know? Humans only invent a period called death because they segment out a portion that, you know. any case let's just go back so just because we create our own reality as the souls here and as co-creators of god and expressions of god or the creator or source or infinity whatever word you want to use and just because in truth our true nature is infinite and unlimited that, again, does not mean that you can do anything. It doesn't mean you can fly, and it also doesn't mean nothing is, nothing is true. It, or, or, or to say that only the truth exists, which I say all the time, and I say anything is possible, and I've said this about infinity. Everything exists within infinity. So when people say, do unicorns exist? I often give the answer, oh, yes, of course. Of course they exist. Everything exists. You're not even, po it's not possible for a human to invent anything. Because infinity is. It is now. And it always has been. So unicorns have always existed. Even if you pull the idea of a unicorn out of your subconscious from the fourth dimension and from another dimensional space. The truth is you are just picking up on something that's already out in the universe somewhere. It's already in the Akasha. It's already in the ether. So that making that statement of truth does not mean that there's no that there that there's no rules to this reality that 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 literally anything can happen at any minute. No, because we set the parameters. Not only did the, did the soul set the parameters, like the laws of physics here are because we wanted it that way. We chose to not be able to fly for this game, for this scape. Okay? So the laws of physics are here until, until you are an ascended master. Until you are ready to leave this realm. Up until that point, you are bound by the laws of physics. To just pretend otherwise is stupid, and I will illustrate, again, try to fly. You may think you can fly. You may know that in other dimensions you can fly. Blessed be, that's the truth. That's why you can fly in your dreams. But that does not mean you can make this physical body fly. And, and, and like, the whole reason I broke with Alexander Quinn, whom I loved... And, and who had enormous, enormous potential was because he was listening to that Linda Good McGillis lady who claimed to be able to fly and levitate and teleport. And, and, and unless I see that, I'm certainly not going to believe it because that's the, it's the highest ascended master. She's basically claiming she's Jesus or Sophia. And she literally says she's Sophia, the incarnation of Sophia, you know. And, and, and the true incarnation of Sophia wouldn't make a claim like that out into the public without proof first. She would just appear to a million people. Or that she would just fly. 
You know, Jesus didn't walk around saying, I can do all this stuff, guys. Look what I, you know, I did this back in Rome, but I can't do it right now in front of you, of course, because there's people, you know, all these people over here, they can't handle it, so I don't show them. You know, I I don't do that either. I say I do stuff on, I say I've had experiences on here, but I, anyone that comes to me can, can see them, you know. Uh, I, I have 30, 40 witnesses to these things. And and I'll and I will pass that information on. Like I'm I'm willing to have an inquiry in any time into anything I've said on here. Any time. I'll take a polygraph. I don't care. You know? But it doesn't matter with whether because I don't claim to have any powers. I don't. Whatever I have, anyone else has. I'm just paying attention. I'm just exploring human potential, my own human potential our human potential you know that's it like i don't claim to be psychic that's irresponsible no true spiritual person would ever say they're psychic honestly or they're just immature they're spiritually immature they're spiritually unwise because everyone is psychic so why were, why are you claiming a distinction as if you're special it makes no sense you might as well just say you're human Okay, so the other thing is we are bound here as souls by our karma until we aren't. By our own choosing and by the will of our higher selves and by the will of God and our creator and by the will of all the angels and the hierarchy, by the will of all that is, by the will of our solar logos and our universal logos, that that is how it is. So... Until you are free from karma, until, you, again, you're ready to ascend and leave this realm, and you'll know when that's true, for sure. <laughs> Won't be no mistake about it. Won't be no wondering how close you are. Okay? So, you are bound by your past decisions. So, humanity as a collective, we can't just all, des you know, decide that, the Sandy Hook thing didn't happen. Like, it's just because someone prints it. We can't just decide the earth's flat. Because the reason I'm saying this is because there are those who believe the earth is flat because they've, they've listened to some cockamamie presentation and accepted it as true. Okay, but there are others who are on the fence about it, including some of my friends who are on the fence about it. Why? Because they believe that there's no rules here. Because they've learned enough about spirituality to think that there's no no rules here that anything could happen any kind of way you know uh-uh uh, -uh. your current situation is a result of your past decisions is it not you can't just say oh I, i'm a millionaire now can you no doesn't mean you can't get there through through positive you know change and manifestation through following a different path yes maybe you can get there but, but you can't just be there because you want to. You can't just think anything's true because you like it that way. So to believe things that you don't know are true, and, and see many people that I talk to, many, 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 many people that I talk to that aren't doing the same kind of spiritual exploration and an exploration into other realms that I have, They'll talk about things that they haven't directly experienced and, and, and they hear me talking and they must think I'm doing the same thing because my speaking to them or my confirmation or sometimes maybe it's my confirmation like because they'll, they'll ask me things in a certain kind of way and I'll explain. And so I will confirm that many amazing occult things do exist. There, there are angels. There are extraterrestrials. There is all kinds of things. But... Me telling you about it isn't doing you much good. And, 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 and here's the real danger. That you think that everyone that talks about it or that anything that anyone says is also true. Because that's not the case. That's not the case. Love the Lord.